Hey, what's going on everybody, Lawrence Cotton here. Like a good YouTuber, I'm recording this video completely shirtless. Um, just in case you wanted to know that, I don't know. But now I told you. In this video we are drawing a sea spider. Scary stuff, I mean the ocean on its own is scary enough and... You know, now you have spiders crawling around on the sea floor. That's not something I wanna encounter. However, when I remember correctly, these things are not really spiders. They are, you know, some... I think they are... Let me Google it real quick. They're not crabs, definitely. I got that wrong. I, th I thought they belonged to, like, the... I don't know, the... The family of crabs or something. But there's, like, an own s uh, sea spider crab. Yeah, there's an own species called the Japanese spider crab. Um... Not to confuse them with the sea spider. It's like an own an own species, a completely different thing, it seems like. And way bigger than the sea spider I'm drawing here. Yeah. No, I, I was in the mood of, you know, drawing something scary again, something creepy, especially something with, you know, a pen and ink. I did some some drawings uh, in here with a uh, Pelican fountain pen, the Pelican twist, if you're interested in that, I'll link the video in the upper right corner, it's the, you know, the purple drawings that you saw me show in the beginning. And I'm generally fascinated with things that, you know, crawl and swim around in the ocean, I mean, um, I have another video that I'm going to link in the upper right corner, in which I draw some imaginary sea monsters. Um, really cool stuff, man, it's really really fascinating to, you know, read and uh, l l hear what's swimming around, what's crawling around on the ocean. Such a scary place and such a, such, an, such a scary and interesting place. Really, really cool. Uh, and I thought with a drawing like this I can express my fascination um, really well because, you know, there's some creepy things that you do not want to encounter but that are equally fascinating, you know, scary and fascinating. And so, yeah, that's what I want to, you know, in a way express with this drawing. Now, th this drawing, and uh, the reference for this drawing is um, of a photograph I found on Reddit. Actually, when I think about it, a lot of my inspiration comes from Reddit, you know, <laughs> just... If you're an artist and you don't know what to draw or what to paint or whatever, or what to sculpt, um, just go on Reddit, and you will find some good, good shit, I have to, I have to say. Some really nice things, some really good inspiration. Now before I'm going in with ink, um, you saw me do like a pencil sketch in the beginning, um, it's just to properly, you know, measure everything out to make sure that nothing's out of proportion. I mean, if there's something out of proportion on the sea spider, you won't really notice that quickly, I think, but... You know, still. I wanted to be as close to the reference as possible, because the reference is badass. I really think that's a cool photograph. And in a way, they remind me so much of these um, face huggers from Alien. You know, these little face hugger aliens with the, you know, long fingers and the, and the vagina looking mouth. <laughs> really cool, really cool things. And I actually have a book, it's called... Um, David's drawings uh, for the movie Alien Covenant. Uh, if you've seen Alien Covenant, um, David the android, he does some, some drawings, or you see some drawings hanging around on the wall of his, of his lair. And there is a book in which all of these artworks are collected, you know, they're done by two artists and, oh man, I love this book. I need to showcase it in, an, in another video. This drawing reminded me a lot of of, the, of that book. The only thing that I didn't like about this drawing or the process is, you know, the repetition. Um, it's definitely one of those drawings where you don't really enjoy the process that much because um, it's a lot of repetition and you need to make sure the shading is... the shading makes sense, you know. You can't just switch off your brain because if you do that, you know, the lighting is gonna be off or the shading um, whatever, and you're gonna notice immediately. Although I did make some errors in the shading, 
but you know that's to be expected. It was really late when I was doing this drawing. I think it was like eleven, eleven p.m. on a Sunday night, and even later on a Monday night. So yeah, definitely a little bit tired, but I think I, I got it. I think I did a pretty good job, yeah. And the most fun part, of course, is gonna be um, adding the ink. Um, it's just so satisfying to see, you know, the drawing on its own when it's just there with the shading. It's it's looking good. It's looking it's looking awesome, whatnot. But when once you add the dark background, uh, the drawing is really gonna pop. Especially the highlights. Um, you can add so much more um, depth to it. You know, really cool what you can do with these with these drawings. I enjoyed it a lot. I did many drawings like this. Um, not not drawings of of sea spiders, but definitely a drawing of a spider. Um, unfortunately, didn't make a video about that. Um, but I did send it to uh, Petco from the Dark Den. Uh, in case you don't know the Dark Den, he does like videos about um, about tarantulas. Really cool, and I sent him this this drawing, and it was up on his wall for such a long time. Really proud of that. And you know, if you want to see some more drawings like this, check out my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video consider giving me the thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more, and yeah, I see you next time, okay, bye.